Now I want to bring in a couple guys here that uh, will give us another perspective on the show. Uh, one of them is a past show manager. And if you've been listening and hearing our Farm Progress Show flashback series, you've heard Keith Ryan mentioned and heard him interviewed on that series. And we're also going to talk with Don Hartz, uh, who works with Case IH and helps put together that exhibit each year. And we'll be broadcasting on on Tuesday, the opening day of the Farm Progress Show from the Case IH exhibit. Don, thank you for joining us. How many years have you been doing this? Well, I've been with the company 33 years, and I've missed uh, four shows. Wow. Well, I can relate to that. This will be my 35th Farm Progress Show, so about the same time period. Uh, it's been it's interesting looking back the kind of the evolution of uh, of exhibitor sites, especially the big ones like Case IH. We've gone from arena shows, kind of away from arena shows, kind of back to arena shows. Uh, it's kind of come full circle. Yeah, it has, and uh, we're going to do an arena show this year, uh, first time in probably ten years. Uh, just time to change up the exhibit a little bit and do something different. Now, how long does it take you to actually get your exhibit, your whole show site, ready to go? I got here on Monday of this week, wow. and my crew came in yesterday, so we'll be here and be pushing to get it done in time. That's what goes into it, and, and that's with all your years of experience. I mean, what would it be like if you just tried to come into it new? That would be overwhelming, wouldn't it? Oh, it, uh, you'd probably have a breakdown at some point. <laughs> of course, the idea is to feature the latest. Uh, you'll be showing the latest from Case IH, and you always, everyone's looking for the best way to do that. A lot of eyes will be on everything and checking it out. So kind of give us a preview of what they'll see this year. Well, we're going to uh, be introducing a new uh, larger Magnum, uh, new Tier 4 uh, sprayers, Tier 4 engine combines, uh, some new compact tractors and utility tractors. You know, as I watch this construction now, it makes me think back to those earlier years where, you know, didn't have the permanent site and, you know, you're trying to get things done. It was a lot, really more stressful, more hectic at that time, wasn't it? Yeah, that's for sure. You had to worry about too much rain and fighting the mud and dust and dirt. And, and the new permanent sites have worked out very well. Yeah used to be that Monday ahead of the start of the show on Tuesday. Everybody was in there trying to set up, do almost everything at that time. Being able to get an earlier start does help, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It, lets us, uh, it gives us more time to do more things instead of just putting up a tent and parking some tractors. All right. So we'll see you then uh, on Tuesday the 30th. Uh, we'll be here. Right, Don Hartz with Case IH. He's been putting together their exhibit at the Farm Progress Show for many, many years. All right, Keith Ryan, uh, past Farm Progress Show uh, manager and now what is it you they let you drive a forklift is that right <laughs> well in their bad judgment they <laughs> let me drive forklifts yes <laughs> now who do you work for i j well i farm and uh farm progress uh, matt Yeoman called me uh over the winter said uh, you know we need somebody to do the forklifting here at the show so i uh, thought about it and said yeah wh why not let's do that so if you see a forklift running loose on the show site, be careful because it's probably Keith Ryan. Uh, I ask you this during our Farm Progress Show flashback series, uh, looking back on those years that you were the, the show manager and you really kind of hit the ground running and uh, tried to, you were learning uh, as you went. It was kind of an overwhelming experience, but now that you've had a chance to look back on it, uh, what, what are some of the things that uh, you recall about those years? You know, I look back on that a lot. At, at, at the time, I certainly did not realize how overwhelmed I was but when I look back now no doubt it was it was an experience that if I went through that now I'd probably freak out <laughs> you didn't know what you didn't know right exactly yeah but it was a lot of fun I mean it just a just an experience I mean you can't get that kind of experience anywhere and the people that you meet and all that you know it's just a tremendous opportunity when you look at the show now from the outside looking in more or less but with still your background experience your perspective of having been on the inside how do you see it differently well, you know, I've been here since Monday uh, unloading equipment and stuff. And I, from that end, from that perspective, so much different, so much nicer. The show site here, with all the paved streets and everything, uh, you know, you, just, everything's more efficient and quicker. You can move faster with the machines and just get everything unloaded. Uh, people could come in no matter what, rain or shine, it, it's, it's a lot better. I remember the show in Cantrell, not too far from here, when we were in Illinois, and the rains came, and you had to start doing some postponing and canceling of some things. Uh, I mean, those aren't fun times, are they? No, they weren't. That, that was my first show, actually, and, and what a way to start out. Yeah, and when it rains, it's just it's such an overwhelming task to get everything in and out and drag them around and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So no doubt it's certainly a change. There was an allure, certainly, and a real interest to going different places every year, different locations, that had an attraction to it, but it got to where logistically it just, uh, 
it wasn't a good way to do business, especially as big as this has become. That's exactly right. And, I, you know, in my opinion, you know, it, it no doubt that did add to the romance of the show that it moved every, everywhere. But everything's more expensive now. It's more expensive to haul things in. The equipment's bigger, and, and you, you just can't take a chance of not having a show today. As you found out, uh, I mean, there are a lot of decisions to say, well, we're going to have to cancel the show. I mean, people are, are driving in. The exhibitors are there. They, they were expecting a show. I mean, a lot of people are affected by a decision like that. Exactly. It's, it's not just the exhibitor alone, but the, the people coming. People drive from three or four states all over the country, and then they show up here at rain that morning, and the show's not on. So, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of bad things there. But you told me you were glad you did it. Good experience for you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I, I was glad to be done, no doubt. But uh, at the same time, I, I wouldn't trade any of it for anything in the world. I'm really glad I did it. A lot, a lot of fun. You said you're farming. Where do you farm at, and how do your crops look? We farm actually not too, not far from the show site here in Taylorville, just about 40 miles down the road. And uh, crops are about the same story as everywhere. You know, it's it's not uh, going to be a bumper year by any means on, in terms of the corn yield. Uh, just uh, the heat and everything else is taking its toll, and we'll find out when we get out there. I guess like a lot of areas, especially here in central Illinois, rain early, and then when it shut off, it shut off. It just shut off, and yeah, and it, it's not been a very good... Uh, uh, situation for a lot of corn growing conditions really so yeah that's kind of been become a pattern to uh, rain early and then stop um, what about your beans so there's still a chance for to have some good beans yeah you know I, I think like everybody thinks you know right now when you look at those you count pods that are there you know if we get the right weather here in August we certainly could have a s tremendous bean crop so maybe that'll make up for some corn. So, well, it's good to see you again. You look a lot less stressed than our next guy, our next guest. Well, he has that stress now. Keith, good to see you. Thank you. Keith Ryan, past uh, Farm Progress Show Manager. Matt Youngman is now the National Events Manager for Farm Progress, and he's the guy that has to worry about all these different things that we've been talking about. He doesn't look too stressed, though. Things are, are going along pretty good as uh, the show uh, continues to develop here. You hear the equipment moving all around us, and uh, it's amazing how much construction, how much has taken place since we were here just a few weeks ago. We'll take our final break, and we'll come back as we continue with our final Farm Progress Show preview series show brought to you by Syngenta. Stay with us. This is AgriTalk.